Hi everybody! It is already week three of our Summer of Wonder and I'm amazed at how quickly things are going by but we are having so much fun at these events and we're really happy you will be joining us this week. This week we are exploring color in nature. So for those of you who have been here before you know the story but for those of you who are brand new and we have a lot of you so we're really excited what you can expect is when you arrive on the property, you're gonna receive a basket like this. And it's gonna contain everything your child needs to create everything that we are gonna show you in this quick video. And so the one thing that um, I want to point out as I have in the past is for those of you who have little children that might be coming along with their brother or sister, or even just on the younger end, and they're not real excited about maybe creating a craft or a project, um, you need to know that there are these elements within the basket that are much more adventure based and experience based. So a magnifying glass, a spray bottle with water, and some bubbles. So these will keep your child entertained if at some point he or she is not really all that engaged in creating something. For those who are interested in creating, we have a lot for you to do this week, starting with this jar of chalk. So chalk painting, what a concept. I didn't even know this existed, but it does. And the great thing is paired with your spray bottle, you can do so much experimenting with color in nature. So to give you an idea, we had some friends of ours create various items in nature, painting them with chalk. So here's a really great cool piece of bark that Jessica created with a heart. And then we have, it, it just works wonders on branches. Paula, Mrs. LaJoy made a goose out of a rock. Love that. Pine cones. And multicolors. Um, so you can imagine, right? But then the interesting thing is, whether you spray the object itself or you spray the chalk, your child can, can start to experiment. What is it like to color dry? What is it like to color wet? And what does that look like? So this is one of the projects you can work on. And I'm gonna jump right from this into your Summer of Wonder notebook. Every child has one. So for those of you who've been here before, bring it back. And those of you who are new, every child will receive one of these. And this is a way your child can document some of his or her adventures or um, observations while here. So this week I was playing around with this whole chalk thing and just look at the difference on paper between dry and wet chalk. This is actually starting with dry chalk on your left side and then spraying it with water and the difference on the right side. So again, what a neat thing for your child to just experiment and play with. Um, so let's see, what else are we doing? Wind chimes, really, wind chimes out of nature. Who'd have thought? This is a large scale version, which I love. Again, our friend Jessica made this. So again, finding items, it could be pine cones, it can be acorns, it can be big, small, whatever you want. We're gonna give you the little eyelets here to screw in. And then just with twine, you attach it to something at the top. If you wanna create more time for a hanging, you can do that. And even as an example, you can color these elements with your chalk if you like, or you can leave it natural. Again, this is something you can create. Any of these things you're invited to leave to beautify the property here and come back and visit, or you can take them home with you. Totally up to you. And let's see. Oh, word writing with elements in nature. Are you ready for this? So our friend Elise created this. She brought a piece of cardboard so we could hold it for you to see. So you're using elements in nature to create letters and create words. And um, of course, over time, this is going to deteriorate because this is all natural items. But the point is that you're using natural items to explore different applications. So if you wanna create a sign like this, if your child wants to create a sign like this, then bring something larger format with you. Um, just a plain old piece of cardboard is fine or whatever you think of, a piece of canvas, but the other thing is we will have within your basket smaller items on which to make your words. You can use a paper plate, you can use some paper, but here's the other really neat thing you can do. You actually can create the words in nature right here on the property. Mrs. LaJoy and I each 
um, tried this out and we're going to um, encourage kids to find our words on the property. I chose hope and Mrs. LaJoy chose joy. And these are currently right on the property somewhere and you might just be able to find them when you come visit this weekend. So those are the items that we have open for you to explore while you're here this weekend. Just to remind you, we want you to stay on the paths, not off the paths. Um, so definitely always stay in marked areas. Um, and also make sure you do the sunscreen and the insecticide. You bring your mask with you. When you are at your spot, you are free to remove your masks um, as you would at home. But when you are out about on the property and um, in um, you know, crossing paths with other people, we wanna make sure that you have masks to use. And um, we do have restrooms. All the other information is located in the email that we sent to you. If there's anything we didn't cover, any question you have, just email us back. We are watching that account on a regular basis. And other than that, we look forward to seeing you right here on the day that you've chosen. Um, can't wait to see you then. Take care, see you soon.